You can use parameterized drill downs to connect to a page in your repository. When you create charts and reports in WebFocus Designer, you can simply select the page that you want to drill to. When creating charts and reports in InfoAssist, on the other hand, you can reference the target page using a URL. The value that you click or select is passed to the page as part of the URL request. The page opens with your selections already applied as filter values, creating a seamless transition between content items. First, create a page that includes prompted filters. In this page, we have filters for business region and sale year. We will create a report with drill downs on the business region and sale year fields so that the value that you click in the report is applied to the filters in the page. In this example, to create a URL drill down, we will use InfoAssist. On the WebFocus homepage, in the Workspaces view, click the InfoAssist tab and then click Report. Add the fields used to filter the page as sort fields in the report, in this case, business region and sale year. We'll also add some measure fields. Next, create the drill downs. We'll create them on the sale year field. Since it is the lower level field, each row that has a sale year value also has a business region value that will be passed. Select the field where the drill down links should be created and, on the field tab, click Drill Down. We will create a URL drill down that executes a runtime URL for our page. The basic runtime URL is the URL of the WebFocus homepage followed by the word run and the path to the page. To get the path to the page, you can right click it on the homepage and click Properties, then copy the value of the path property. When you paste it into the URL, remove the colon after IBFS. Type a description for the drill down link and choose whether to launch the page in the same window or in a new window. Now we will configure the parameter values. Click Add Parameter and type a name. This parameter name typically matches the field name. For example, business underscore region. You can also find this information by viewing the page in info mode. Next, specify that the parameter should be a field value and then select the field associated with the parameter from the value menu. In this example, we have two parameters. We will follow the same steps to pass the time underscore year parameter. Now our drill downs are ready. Run the report. When you click a link, the page opens, and the filter values that we selected are already applied and reflected in the filter controls on the page. This makes it easy to see how the information in the report is connected to the page and makes for an intuitive user experience. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.